Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm Charles from Charles End Photography and we have a special guest today. His name is Trevor the Grey Heron and Trevor here is going to help me show you the differences in metering between matrix, centre weighted and spot. Now Trevor here is a Grey Heron so he's about neutral grey, around 18-20% grey and this is a perfect colour gradient for your metering between matrix, centre weighted and spot. Now if we took a picture of Trevor in matrix, centre weighted or spot there would hardly be any difference between the three photos because he is neutral grey. But if Trevor here was white there would be a very big difference between matrix, centre weighted and spot. Likewise if Trevor was black there would be a big difference between matrix, centre weighted and spot. And this is what I have done. Trevor has been very obliging to help me do this. We've taken a picture of Trevor in matrix, centre weighted and spot. Then I put a white coat on Trevor and took a picture of him in matrix, centre weighted and spot. And then I put a black coat on Trevor and took a picture in matrix, centre weighted and spot. These first three photos are taken in matrix. These photos were taken in centre weighted. Now finally I took a picture of Trevor in spot metering. Now to understand how metering works in the camera, matrix metering looks at the whole image in front of you. So if you're looking at me now, if I was taking a photo in matrix metering it would actually be looking at the whole frame and matrix is with Nikon. If you're shooting with Canon it would be evaluative, still means the same thing, it's reading the whole frame. If you placed your camera in centre weighted when you're metering it means just like the word states, centre weighted, not just talking about the centre of the image but where you've actually focused. It doesn't really look at the centre of your focus point but it looks in that area, so in that third of the area but it will take some of the metering towards around two thirds of the image. It will not look into the corners of your image. Now if we're talking about spot then spot is very unique that it will look at the focusing point and a very smaller area around it. Now when I actually use spot metering I actually focused right in the center of his wing here. So the camera was only metering right in this area here and all the images that you just saw were taken exactly the same point. This was the only way that I could actually do this test correctly and accurately. Now I will show you some photos that I took at Sandstone Lake of some bottle brushes and some other flowers. The reason I took these of flowers and all that is because they were standing still and all these photos were taken on a tripod fixed at the same focus point and these were taken in matrix, centre weighted and spot at various angles and some of these photos were taken in shade, some of them were taken in the sun because I want to show you some real life images now there's not a lot of time when we actually go out in the field and we actually encounter a bird like Trevor. Now most of the time photographers like using the matrix mode because it meters your whole frame. But sometimes there is a need to actually use another metering mode whether it is centre weighted or spot. So this will help the landscape photographer as well. But most of the time centre weighted and spot are wildlife photographers to use this or sports photographers. But there's not many times a wildlife photographer or sports photographer will come up against a bird like Trevor, neutral grey. We could be shooting egrets which are white, we could be shooting cormorants which are black and if you're photographing flowers and all that then they could be any colour of the rainbow, they could be brown, they could be blue, they could be purple. So this real world test actually shows you how the metering is actually affected by different colours, whether it's in the shade, whether it's in the sun or whether it is backlit, so whether the sun is behind your subject or whether the sun is behind you and you are shooting with the light.
but now I will actually show you these photos. So these are our five sets of test images that I took to highlight the difference between matrix, metering, center weighted and spot. All of these images were taken on a tripod in aperture priority. So the aperture was constant at f5.6, the ISO was constant at ISO 100. The only variable that moved was my shutter speed. The first image in each of these sets shows the focus point of the image. So this first image, the sun is hitting this old wattle flower from the right and you can see that the wattle flower is partly lit. So this image was taken in matrix metering. So the camera is trying to meter the whole image and you can see it's done a fairly good job. There's, the sky is quite bright but it's trying to average out between the bright sky and the dark under leaves here and the shutter speed was 1 800th of a second. Now in center weighted here you can see that the shutter speed has slowed down from 1 800th to 1 500th and the light is more even. Now remember in center weighted more emphasis is actually placed around where the focus point was but the metering is still looking at two-thirds of the rest of the image. It doesn't look at the corners and this looks a very well exposed image. Now in spot metering you can see that our highlights have been totally blown out but the camera has done its job because in spot metering the camera is only looking at this area here where I'm circling and this is where I had focused on this flower. So it's trying to expose it correctly which it has done but in the process has blown out the exposure of the rest of the image. This next image here is of the same wattle flower but now I'm actually behind the flower and the sun you can see has backlit this flower and it's very dark so the exposure will be very different. So now in matrix metering it's trying to even up the bright sky and this very dark flower here and it's done a fairly reasonable job. Like the previous image remember center weighted means it's putting more emphasis on the center where we focus but it's still looking at two-thirds of the rest of the image so it's trying to give you a fairly balanced image which it has done this quite well so you can see in this image taken in spot metering that the highlights are totally blown out but once again where we've actually focused has actually been metered correctly and this is you have to understand this when you are using spot metering that the camera is putting all its emphasis it's actually just looking at the area where you're focused it's actually trying to get this correctly exposed and this is why it has blown out our highlights this is the next image and you can see where the focus point was so here in matrix metering the image is fairly well balanced now look at the color of this wattle flower can you see that it's a very dull green yellow but look at its surroundings too it just about blends in can you see in center weighted nothing has changed our shutter speed has not changed at all this is really because of where we've actually focused and also the light that is surrounding this area. Now in spot metering again nothing has changed. Out of all the sets this is the only one that did this and this is why I chose this flower because it's fairly neutral compared to the rest of the scene and also the light throughout the whole scene is very even. So this image was taken only about two meters from our previous image but now this dried flower is a very dark brown compared to our previous flower which was a yellowy green color and also the light here has a bit more variation to it. So this was taken in matrix metering and you can see that the whole image is fairly well exposed. It looks very good. The flower is a little bit dark but remember in matrix it's trying to balance out the whole frame and it has done a very good job. Now in center weighted it's putting more emphasis around 
our focus point but still looking at two-thirds of the image so it's actually trying to balance it out so again here in spot metering most of our image is blown out but our subject where we focused on is actually correctly exposed and this is why I was showing you the image beforehand where the light was constant throughout the whole image and also the color of the flower which was a yellowy orange color and it was in tonal ranges very close to neutral gray this is why nothing changed in the three sets of images but here you can see there is a quite a big difference between matrix metering center weighted and spot so for this last image it's aimed at landscape photographers to show that we have to be careful where we put our focus point and also which metering we choose you can see i've put the focus point on the shade sail in a darker area so in matrix metering it's metering the whole image so it's trying to balance out the bright sky the very bright concrete in the play area down here against the very dark shadows of the play area down the bottom here and underneath this tree here there's the shadows are actually quite dark so it's actually tried to balance it out quite well now in center weighted you can see that the image is much brighter because we've actually put our focus point in the shade but it's not just looking at the area where we focused it's also looking two-thirds around this area now in spot metering it's only looking where we focused and it was a dark area where we focused so it's actually trying to bring this up to neutral gray and look at our sky it's quite blown out and our foreground is also very blown out this is why I actually used the example at the start of this video of Trevor the grey heron to show that if we're photographing this grey bird there wouldn't be much difference between matrix center weighted and spot but if Trevor was white or black there would be a very big difference and that is because the metering is trying to get it to neutral grey but I'm showing you these examples because out in the real world you will not find too many subjects that are neutral grey they could be black they could be blue they could be white they could be any color of the rainbow so you have to understand how your metering is going to react to a very bright color to a very dark color when you're out in the field photographing whatever you are taking photos of so as you saw in these real world examples sometimes there is no difference between matrix center weighted or spot and at other times there is a very big difference depending on the light that you are shooting in and also the color of your subject and i hope now that this video has helped you understand a little bit more about metering the recommendation is that you go out into the field and you practice photographing subjects in matrix in center weighted or in spot and see the differences for yourself this way you will have a better understanding of the circumstances when to shoot in matrix when to shoot in center weighted or when to shoot in spot if you've gotten value from this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you next time